The scrotum is the coldest part of a man's body. So go watch that video, Ball Slack sits on brick wall. I have uh, the, the card thing, wherever that ends up, and then I, um, and then I, uh, yeah, so, yeah. Do you know, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, annoyed, a little bit annoyed that I've just, I like did, what, 10 minutes of recording, but I forgot to capture my screen. So that's all um, shit, so, dang it. Ugh. Ooh. That's a really old MSI motherboard. That is a what? A... G41M4 motherboard with Q8300. That's pretty cool. Why? <laughs> the CPU powers all the way down here. That's, that's abnormal. So is the, um, is that USB thing? Or nah. It might be. I think it is. Only supports probably 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, I could... I can imagine because of how the board is with only uh, so many slots. I'm a fan of MSI. 25 bucks is pretty good. That's really good, actually. Um, now, Q8300. I'm just automatically assuming it's a quad core. Nope. Yeah, core 2 quad, York field. 2.5 gigahertz, 4 megabyte cache. But hey, that ain't bad i5 4440 60 bucks that's pretty good that's actually really good uh haswell 3.1 gigahertz but dang that's not that's not bad i mean it's hard to find sandy bridge i5s like well, let's see how much this 2400 is 45 that's 15 dollars less same speed but like you could say roughly 20 percent worse ipc ah ooh, i like seeing this we got a 3570K with a 8 MSI Z77A motherboard, 8 gigs of RAM. So you have an unlocked Ivy Bridge i5 processor with a Z77 board. And it gives room for 210. Now, I didn't look at that price till just now. Um, this is selling a reference 770 for 160. That's a lot. So that's actually a lot for 770. Because I, I got one for about. Uh, 130. Break down the price. So if the 8 gigs, if you consider it 30, okay, let's, let's first assume we're going to talk about a 200. So then minus the 30 would be 170. And is 170 a good price for a unlocked? That's a hard one. Let's go to eBay. So it looks like they're about 100. Uh, I see one for 120, 110. So you call it 110. So if those are 110. So I'd knock it down to 60 bucks for um for a Z77 motherboard. I'm not seeing any for 60 bucks. I'm hardly seeing any for under 100. I mean, hey, maybe this isn't too bad of a deal. i7 6700T for 250. Come on, man. That's a lot. I think that's a lot. Like that's a good core and thread count, but. 2.8 gigahertz. I don't even know what the turbo is, but it might be like 3.2 at least. I'm getting tired of this ice in this cup. I don't have a straw for this drink, so I have to keep sucking up ice, which is annoying. There we go. Problem solved. Bitch. I can know what the little ice is. I don't want no big ice. I want some vanilla ice. Let's go Dallas, Texas. 670601. Thanks to BCW Zoo. Here's I5. 110 for a 20, 2310. No. <laughs> considering I've I am considering you can go on eBay and get a an Ivy Bridge unlocked i5. Hell no. That's a generation older. 2.9 gigahertz. So hell no. Hell no on that one. A 290X. 
for a 290X 8 gig for 350. And then he has another one. He has a 290X. Why does Sapphire need two freaking three fanned 290Xs? And like, they're pretty much the exact same thing. I don't care to look up which one's better. It's just they're both the same 290X 8 gig. Except this one is $21 cheaper for whatever reason. This one has a backplate. That's the Vaporex. This is the, um, the Tri-X Toxic Edition. And I just have to say no to both of them because you can get an 8 gig f uh, 580 for what? Less than 250? Yeah, 220. Two, like, on 250 for the MSI one. So, why buy a 280 for that much when you can get something newer, cheaper, and I think at least as fast? Yeah, no. Look up 05676, bro. Okay, London Bulldog. Okay. Wait, are those bent pins? Oh. God dang it. Wait, no? Has, yeah, I could tell it was... Man, if I could fix those pens. That's, 50 bucks is cheap for a 1366 motherboard. Jeezy peeps, that is. That's pretty good. So before I get into that, something really funny happened the other day. So I was, uh, my mom, out of the blue, I don't talk to my mom very often, like, the last time I think she's like texted me was like she, like she texted me it was probably before this year like probably around Christmas maybe but then she just like came up like out of the blue a couple days ago and just sent me this Bella's playing Minecraft and she says she needs your help putting things down she tried to put a bed down and destroyed half a village right click she said okay thanks that is the most out of the blue thing like ever. I thought it was funny because it's such an easy fix for her problem. Oh, my sister's like seven. I don't know if you've seen the video where I uh, helped her build a computer. So it says all for $15. That's a limited edition G EG4 6200 and a Pentium 3 processor. Looks like it says 700 megahertz and 100 megahertz front side bus probably. And then a little hard drive as well. So I don't even know how much Pentium 3s are. These ones are 1 gigahertz. So here's one in box for 20 bucks. 7 bucks. 8 bucks. Yeah, they're not too much money. If you want to build an old ass computer, which I think I might want to do, um, all for 15 bucks. If you live in New Yorkville, buy this and ship it to me and I'll, I'll pay you in, um, and oh, I'm, let me complete my thought pay you in hugs. Okay. But we have to find a rough conversion from $15 into hugs. It's fine. We'll figure something out. This is freaking awesome. I've seen this before. Different times. But this is freaking awesome. $400 for a 1999 Hot Wheels computer. 1999 Hot Wheels computer, entirely complete and in perfect condition, 500 megahertz processor, 10 gigabyte hard drive, 64 megabytes of RAM, monitor, speakers, mouse, mouse pad, steering wheel, pedals, and CD holder with all original software included. I bought this for my son in 1999 for Christmas for $700, truly a museum piece and a and highly collectible. No shit. This is awesome. I cannot express that enough. This is so cool. Now, is 400 even a good deal? 500, 500, 474. Why is this sold twice? That's weird. Wow. That's not too bad. Then. There we go. <laughs> oh man, I just had, I, oh, jeez. Okay, so that's all I can get to today. Post your thingies, your zip codes, into the comments, and I will get to them next time, hopefully a lot sooner than it took me. This time, I also have a couple of videos in the works. It's just, I don't have a ton of time. And don't forget, actually go do this right now. Go check out Ball Slacks over on Brick Wall. 
and I have a lot more stuff I'm working on. I'm editing stuff right now for uh, like uh, behind the scenes for that video. Go check it out. It's I think it's all right, pretty funny, and yeah. So do that. It would I would I would thank you lots. We worked hard on it, and so I have to say goodbye.